What is Support Assist and sh should I let it run? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Let's get right into the question. My Dell computer came with something called Support Assist that scans my computers for any driver and BIOS updates. I've had conflicting advice on whether I should let it install those updates. You seem to say not. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And yet Dell insists the utility keeps my machine up to date so as to run securely and optimally. Which is it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it or follow Dell's advice. Well, coincidentally, I happen to have a Dell machine and we can talk about exactly this utility. Let's go ahead and bring it up. This is a Dell laptop I've had for several years. We'll hit the start menu and scroll down to the S's. You'll find it there. We'll hit support assist and that'll bring it up. And you can see it loads what they call optimization tools. Support assist actually does a little bit more than just update BIOS and drivers. They will actually run a suite of tools as they call it to optimize the performance of the machine, at least in their eyes and potentially in Dell specific ways. So that actually leads us into my ultimate answer for these kinds of programs. When the program is provided by the computer manufacturer, it's generally safe to let it run and to let it update the drivers and the BIOS if required. The programs that I generally have people avoid are those third-party programs, programs provided by neither Microsoft nor the device manufacturer. These programs often are misleading, wrong, and sometimes occasionally even outright scams. This program, Support Assist from Dell, along with several others from other different computer manufacturers, are actually a pretty reasonable way to keep your machine up to date from the manufacturer's perspective. They can often do manufacturer-specific or device-specific optimizations and hardware updates or software updates that Microsoft just can't or won't take the time to do. So you can see, though, that this machine is actually getting a scan run on it right now where it's testing hardware. It will actually do some file cleanup, some performance tuning, some network optimization. Some of this is redundant with utilities like disk cleanup and so forth, but there's really no harm in letting it run. You can see also that my machine has five updates available. When this run of support assist is done, we'll go ahead and let it update those drivers, but we don't need to stick around for that. Support Assist is something that if you end up going to the Dell support site, they'll actually strongly encourage and potentially even require that you run the program prior to submitting a support request or looking for help with whatever problem you're having. So it's generally, I mean, it's clearly something that they encourage you to run and may even insist that you run should you be running into problems. Tools like Support Assist are often pre-installed on new machines, which is fine. They're fine to leave there, but also they can often be pre-installed to run automatically. If I'm not mistaken, on my newer Dell machine, a different machine than we're looking at here, the program actually runs automatically once a week to make sure that drivers and other things are up to date. That's safe, that's fine to do, and I actually appreciate that my drivers and BIOS are being updated regularly by Dell. As with any of these tools, however, if you don't already have it, make sure to download it only from the manufacturer's website and not some third-party download site or some other place that may actually be trying to fool you into downloading something that isn't really the original program you want. So for support assist, I would go only to dell.com or support.dell.com to make sure I'm getting the latest and official version of the program. But like I said, on many new machines, it'll be there already pre-installed. It won't be in the Dell submenu, which kind of surprised me. In my case, it's down on the support assist menu, but you'll find it pretty quickly. 
So one thing I do want to uh, comment on, and that is this concept of support being expired. If we switch back to my machine for a moment, you'll see that across the top, there's this red band that says my service plan has expired. You know what? That's okay. Uh, this machine has been around for a while and you'll notice that support assist continues to work when we get around to updating those drivers which i may not bother to do in this video but i certainly will do after things are done those drivers will get updated it will in fact update those drivers even though the support plan or service plan has expired don't think that you have to renew your service plan. And in fact, in many cases, it's simply money wasted. Most of the time, the service plan is really only something about actual service when you have to get the machine physically repaired for some reason. But regular updates, not a problem. You do not have to have the service plan active for that to happen as Support Assist working here is showing you. It will remind you, and in some cases, it will remind you rather aggressively, ignore them. Unless you want a service plan for some reason, but in my case, there's absolutely no reason to let the service plan go on any longer than originally came with the machine. So, should you let it run? Well, bottom line is, I do. Like I said, both on this machine that we've been looking at and my other Dell machines, I let Support Assist do its magic automatically if it's configured to do so, or every once in a while, I will run it manually. The tools provided by the hardware manufacturer are tools that you can trust and are generally tools that you can use regularly to keep your machine as up to date, as safe and secure as possible. For links related to the article that this video was originally based on, or to leave a comment on that article, visit askleo.com slash 124314. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.